muli isang magandang umaga, magang, magandang, magandang gabi sa bawat isa. Welcome to our CBC Prayer Gathering and uh, Bible Study, a Ministry of Conscience Baptist Church. We thank the Lord for this opportunity of uh, studying the Word and praying together as one church, one body in Christ. We thank the Lord for uh, this time, this moment. Salamat po at sa lahat ng mga naka, nakibahagi sa ating sa huling uh, paglalagak ng ating mahal na Pastor Randy sa kanyang hantungan sa Himlayang Pilipino, lahat po na nakasama sa panalangin, gayon din naman ang um, nagpahayag ng kanilang mga pag, pakikipagdalamhati at pakikiisa sa buong pamilya ng CBC, lalo na sa Tupas Family, at sa lahat ng nanalangin at lahat ng uh, dumalo, nagpahayag ng kanilang uh, uh, pagbati ay Taos puso po ang aming pasasalamat sa inyo. We thank the Lord for um, your grace that's sufficient in the life of our beloved Pastor Randy. At uh, ito po ay panibagong kabanata na naman sa ating uh, buhay iglesia. Na ngayon ay at tayo po ay magkakaroon na ng uh, panibagong yugto sa ating uh, buhay ministeryo sa CBC. Uh, ngayong uh, alam na natin na ang ang ating mahal na Pastor Randy ay, ay nasa piling na ng Panginoon. So we thank the Lord. Um, first of all, let's acknowledge um, some of our online uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. But let me check first my, uh, my audio. Mahal na Pastor Randy ay, ay nasa piling. Okay, I think my audio is clear so far. Ay okay, naman yung mahalaga, hindi yung video ko. Yung ang mahalaga yung ating uh, audio na napapakinggan niyo po. Okay, so I'm just configuring my files here. Okay, so acknowledging uh, publico family and team QC. So welcome uh, uh, sa ating publico family and galang uh, family as well. No? So we welcome you. Also Jennifer Kurameng and the Makati uh, team. So we welcome you also in our prayer gathering and also uh, Johnny Molina is here so uh, brother Johnny so welcome to our prayer gathering and Bible study salamat din sa inyong uh, uh, pakikiisa pakikidalamhati sa ating uh, namayapang mahal na pastor ayan so mga prayer requests Sterlin, thanksgiving for peaceful internment though we have seen some delays no, but, but these are God ordained delays No? There's a purpose for this. Eventually, nakita rin natin na naging uh, okay naman ang pangkahalatan, ang uh, paglalagak sa ating mahal na pastor sa kanyang huling hantungan uh, kanina, kani, ngayong hapon. So, we thank the Lord for that. CBC families for the love and support, prayers and comfort, totoo po yan, na sa pag-ibig suporta ng bawat pamilya no nakikita, nakikita natin dito yung mga sacrifices natin even our energy our time no our resources perhaps no though may, we may have uh, challenges as far as our resources concerned but our support and presence ay hindi po matatawaran yan no? i really appreciate our, our the ladies no have been there since uh, day one uh, saturday is our first uh, first night and then uh, hanggang uh, uh, sa hapon no? so i really appreciate all of all of our cbc family who have been supporting uh, throughout uh, the funeral services as well as the last and final internment of our beloved pastor so we thank the lord for this i hope and pray that uh, you will continually be faithful to the lord faithful to the church And let's support Pastor Lem uh, sa kanyang leadership. Let's pray for Pastor Lem Teacher Ami. Uh, patuloy also Ma'am Josie. No? So patuloy na siya aliwi ng Panginoon kahit na sa mga malulungkot na sandaling ito. Na sila po ay nagkahiwal, nag, uh, nawalay na sa piling ni Pastor Randy. So comfort din po kay Ate Jo. At uh, of course, ang ating dalamhati ay hindi agad-agad uh, mawawala ito. Ngunit uh, unti-unti tayong aaliwin ng Panginoon uh, in due time. But 
bagamat may kagalakan sa ating mga puso at isipan, no? So, yan po yan, mga kapatid. So, knowing that Pastor Randy is with the Lord now, in fact, on the moment of his dying, just like uh, Stephen, nung siya po'y stone to death na, babatuhin na para mamatay, ay biglang bumukas ang langit, nakita niya ang Panginoon, at siya'y malugod na tinanggap ng Panginoon. No, alam ko na ganyan din ang nangyari sa ating mahal na pastor. No, siya po'y nasa piling na ng Panginoon. Okay, uh, we, we would like to acknowledge uh, Sister Gina from Pangasinan. So welcome Sister Gina. Thank you po sa inyong mga panalangin. Sa bawat isa na nalangin. Hanggat sa huling uh, pagkakataon kay Pastor Randy. Hanggat siya'y binawian ng buhay ang ating mga suporta at panalangin ay nandoon po. Salamat. Maging sa mga iba't ibang mga kamanggagawa na nagpaabot mga kapastoran, mga mga ngaral, kahit na ang mga members ng ibang local churches din ay nakita natin ang kanilang pagsuporta at ang kanilang pakikipagdalamhati. So we thank the Lord for this. I pray, I hope and pray for God's blessing to them also. No? Na sila rin po ay bihayaan ng Panginoon sa kanilang kabutihang uh, loob sa atin, lalo-lalo na sa uh, pamilya ng Tupas. Okay, uh, sabi si Sir Gina, sa biyaya ng Panginoon, clear na po ang bato sa kidney ko. So, praise the Lord for that, si Sir Gina, sa, sa balitang yan. Sa good news, okay na po ang result ng ultrasound. Pero patuloy pa rin po ako isama sa panalang. Yes, we'll continue to pray for you, si Sir Gina. Okay ng immune system. Ayan po. Maging normal na po ang platelet, hemoglobin, at etc. ESR saka yung monthly therapy. Okay po. Noted po yan, Sister Gina. Alam nyo po, ay palagi po namin kayong pinapanalangin. At ang bawat... Apo, amen po. Yung uh, Bible study ni Pastor Lem, uh, dalangin ni Sister Gina na tuloy-tuloy ito, mabahagian ang mga uh, mahal sa buhay ni Uh, ni Sister Gina. So, amen po yan. Opo, uh, acknowledging also Pastor Rem is joining us. Okay? So, we thank the Lord for this opportunity that we could continue in studying God's Word as well as uh, communing in prayer. So, napakahalagang aspeto ng, uh, ng uh, church life yan, mga kapatid. Yung panalangin natin at pakikipag-isa sa salita ng Panginoon. Okay, I'll be sharing to you the third part. Now, it's in Romans 12.12, no? pero babasahin po muna natin ang ating mga prayer requests. Okay, tuloy-tuloy po ang Bible study ni Pastor Lem. So, salamat sa Panginoon sa biyaya, kalakasan na uh, pinagkaloob. Kapilang po muna tayo mga kapatid. Ayan po. Okay, so tayo po muna ay uh, panandali ang manalangin and then we will look at the, some of our prayer requests and then we will continue on Romans 12.12. .12. Isang talata lamang ito, ngunit ito ay kapupulutan natin ng motivation, encouragement mula kay Apostol Pablo mismo. Paano natin uh, may uukol ang ating mga tungkulin alang-alang sa ating pamilya, particularly on the household of faith. No? So, may iba level ng uh, family, but uh, this is especially in context of the household of faith, which is the, the church at Rome at this time. And this, the, this could be applied even in uh, every local churches. Now, these responsibilities, no? for each of the believers in Christ. Ayan po. Salamat din, Sister Gina. At uh, patuloy po nating dalangin niya, no? Yung pong inyong kalusugan, as well as the Word of God uh, taught being preached uh, to your loved one. Okay? So, let's uh, uh, have a prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time that we could have our prayer gathering and Bible study. We thank you, Lord, for the, 
for the interment of our beloved pastor, even the ser memorial services starting uh, last Saturday until uh, last night. And even this afternoon, Lord, you have been gracious to us. You have been um, uh, merciful to us, Lord. Your presence uh, is with us through your Holy Spirit as the Word of God is preached into, uh, to us. We thank you for, your, for the Word being shared throughout these five uh, nights as well as uh, the com commitment uh, service this afternoon. Lahat ng ito ay mga pakinabang sa amin o Diyos, ang mga salitang ito. Kahit na ang uh, pakikisama ng bawat kapatira na isa rin uh, kagalakan sa bawat isa. Na kami magsama-sama, ayong ay sang-ayon sa inyong biyaya, sang-ayon sa inyong mga salita na aming napakinggan. Ganon din po naman, Panginoon, ang mga patotoo na aming napakinggan, pinapasalamatan po namin ang mga kamanggagawang ito na naging uh, malapit sa aming mahal na Pastor Randy. At sila ang at si Pastor Randy ay naging pagpapala sa kanila in uh, different capacities as their mentor, teacher, pastor, a friend and a father Panginoon sa amin. At uh, salamat din sa oportunidad na ito na kami po ay uh, patuloy na, in na inyong pinagbigkis ng inyong pag-ibig bawat isa Panginoon upang uh, uh, patuloy na pag-alabin ang uh, pag-ibig sa isa't isa Panginoon. Pinapasalamatan po namin ang uh, lahat ng uh, efforts ng mga CBC, family and friends Panginoon. Nakita niyo po ang aming mga puso at isipan na may kagalakan sa inyong maglingkod kahit na sa pagsakripisyo ng aming mga panahon o Diyos. Um, most of which of our brethren have uh, sacrificed on their schedules, even their work. Some have uh, uh, have uh, piled some uh, uh, leave and other things, Lord, just to uh, para po may pahayag namin ang aming paikiisa at uh, patuloy na uh, suporta sa gawain ng Panginoon. Kahit na sa mga memorial services na ito, Panginoon, na, na aming pong ginanap. Kaya nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyong biyaya. Dalain ko rin ang inyong paggabay at patuloy na na biyaya uh, sumaamin sa lahat ng mga pamilya na CBC, kahit ng aming mga kaibigan, Panginoon. Muli patnubayan mo ang aming mga panahon ng pag-aaral, gayon din ang panalangin, Panginoon. Pinupuri po namin kahit pinapasalamatan sa tanging pangalan ng inyong bultong na anak, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Okay? Salamat po. Uh, basahin lang po natin ang mga... Actually, sounds familiar to eh. Okay, so ito po ang ating titulo. Babasahin po mamaya natin ito, mga kapatid. Uh, Paul had been practical on this because this is the evidence of salvation. No? This portion of the scripture, particularly in Romans chapter 12. Ngunit bago yan, ang mga kahilingan muna. No? Patuloy ang health and safety for uh, everyone during the pandemic. Mas uh, luluwag na ang ating quarantine by March. No? Uh, let's see how it will affect us as far as our health, economic activity, and other things is concerned, no? may, may the Lord give wisdom to the local and national leaders so that uh, uh, they could continue to manage this. No? So, kahit na maproteksyonan pa ang mga tao, yan pong mahalaga uh, sa lahat. All, of course, our livelihood, business, and employment, no? so yan po ay patuloy nating dalangin na pagpalain ng bawat isa sa kanilang mga uh, hanap buhay, employment, as well as business opportunities. Attendance in church gathering, no? So, I hope and pray that brethren would come. No? Our friends, no? Would come uh, to our physical gathering. If you are able, no? We encourage you to go. No? Not just to be limited on the online gathering. No? Pwede ka naman palang mag-physical gathering because that is normative. In fact, the the very context of a local church worship is a physical the gathering. Uh, in fact, the, the concept of electronics, electronic media, is not yet present during those times. So, hindi yan na-anticipate at hindi natin pwedeng 
pamalit. Now, the point is that we cannot really replace online worship with the physical worship. No? So, ito lamang po yung mga stopgap measure natin kahit na ng ibang mga iglesia upang sa gayon ay maapot din ang lahat ng mga kapatiran. Of course, Sister Lynn sa Life Business and Work. So, noted dyan, uh, Sister Lynn. Okay. Uh, flattening of the curve, no? Sana magtuloy-tuloy na to, no? Yung ating, lalo na kapag may mga vaccine na this uh, March, no? hopefully, uh, we will have uh, this uh, resistance to this virus. No? Then, of course, spiritual growth of the bread is very essential, no? That uh, we could continue. Let's be serious in God's word, mga kapatid. Huwag natin baliwalain ang salta ng Diyos, lalo na yung systematic na study nito. Pag-aaral, dahil ito ay ito ang magdetermine ng growth natin sa Panginoon. Now, of course, we cannot apply anything systematic if we will not learn systematic at all. So, there must be a systematic study of God's Word. We should not study the Word of God haphazardly. No, yan yung ginagawa ng iba. Pero dapat tayo ay maging masikap sa ating... Uh... Okay, no? So... We would like also to acknowledge Sir Bobby in our uh, online uh, prayer gathering. Sister Lynn's uh, request on Mati study on March 19. Simula na yung uh, semestre. Kay Mati, ilan na lang Mat? No? Gagraduate ka na rin. Konting ano na lang, konting tiyaga na lang. Sun Life uh, Friday Group Bible Study Online. Yan. So sana maging mas matatag ang ang mga uh, ka-Bible study ni Sister Lynn, no? lalo na sa mga uh, mga opposition, no? opposing doctrines and views. Ayan. Okay. Of course, the ladies, our ladies group, Committed Women for Christ, let's continue to pray for them. Also, their ministry at uh, the church, napakalagang bagay ng kanilang pagbiministeryo sa church. No? Patuloy natin uh, pag-pray ang ating mga may bahay at mga kababaihan sa iglesia. Church concern, no, uh, we still uh, uh, have church staff and volunteer though, uh, dahil po ay medyo, uh, of course, there will be some changes as far as the, uh, yung mga routines ng church, no, dahil wala nang ating Pastor Randy. So, in a way, in some point, ay magkakaroon na rin ng kagaanan ang ang ating mga church staff and volunteers no? as far as the root routine is concerned sa sa ating uh, bahay sa uh, dalanginan at pa, uh, our, our worship uh, house at CBC no of course building repairs so there are move to to have some renovation as far as our CR there are we observe some traffic no kapag maraming tao traffic po ang ating CR no? kaya may mga Uh, proposals on uh, on having remo- renovation, no? perhaps splitting our CR into two, na napakalaki naman yan. No? So, ito yung mga naiisip nating mga uh, effective measures on how to resolve uh, this uh, traffic 101. <laughs> Hindi traffic sa daan, eh. traffic sa CR. Yan. Yan po na observe natin. Dahil, of course, dumadami tayo yung capacity din dapat ng CR natin. So, that that is under building, repairs, and maintenance. Also, our ties and offering, let's continue. No, if you have been blessed by the Lord, no, then you should uh, have a generous uh, giving also. The Lord had been generous to us, therefore, Uh, we should be generous also. Understanding knowledge and wisdom from the Word of God. So, napakahalaga niya. So, yung understanding, una yung understanding, then wisdom is lifelong in, its ter- in terms of its application of God's Word. No? But we need to understand and the only way to understand God's Word is to study, diligent study. No? Paano maunawaan kung di mo naman pag-aaralan? No? Kaya minsan, that's the problem with some of our so-called Christian, no? hindi nila naunawaan ang Bible kasi hindi nila pinag-aaralan ang Bible. Salta ng Diyos. They just would like to receive understanding and wisdom from God's Word though they're not really diligent on their study. 
So medyo sablay tayo doon mga kapatid. So dinadalangin mong karunungan sa Diyos. Pero di ka naman nag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. No? So that's an issue. No? Of course, church utility bills. Uh, we need to pray for this. No? Lahat naman tayo nakikinabang sa uh, mga utilities na ito. Ang ilaw, electricity, no? as well as uh, uh, internet access as well. No? So, and other things, other utilities, the water. No? So, all of these are essentials that we need to pray about it. Also, in our Sunday school, it's already our part 5 of education. So, I hope and pray you read your notes with you. Then, I'll be for our online uh, students, We will I will be posting the picture files. Perhaps by tomorrow or Saturday. And of course, for the kids, no, Teacher Ami is handling the Sunday school for kids. No, let's pray about it. No, that the Lord, the gospel will progress also even in the kids department. Of course, church concern, no, our building project with God we build. No, so this could be a legacy to us by our pastor. Ito y uh, na conceptualize nung time na siya pa ay nabubuhay. No, kaya ituloy natin ito itong ating uh, mga projects no? ayan yung laborers and contractor tama si Sterling, kailangan natin ng mga skilled worker dito sa bagay na ito of course online bible studies we have our families no? sister uh, Gina and Sheila sa Zedo residence Galang residence and second street uh, kids extension so we thank the lord for this of course, we have our missionaries, missionary Nyerbes, no? Uh, let's pray for their plan, no? perhaps second or third quarter of the year, that they could go back to Hanoi, Lord willing, no? upang uh, patuloy doon uh, ang mga nasimulang gawain at mga, mga mananampalatayang naiwan doon. No? Importante yun, no? kasi they're still conducting their online uh, worship, until now. So, that's the only option. No, perhaps, uh, they would like also to gather physically and uh, for them to, of course, there's a purpose of uh, the mission there in Hanoi to uh, for the, the nationals, the locals there to be saved and also to establish, to lead the church. No? So, yun yung uh, ano dyan, no? reason. No? Pastor Ariel from Thailand, let's continue to pray for Pastor Ariel's health uh, there in uh, Thailand. Pastor Aaron, I, uh, he was there at Bethany no, for the seminar. Uh, still uh, under deputation, ongoing deputation. Let's pray for traveling mercies uh, and safety for them. Also, Sister Yani is uh, with him. Uh, dalangin kong pag-iingat sa inyo, sa, sa inyong mga uh, pinaparoo ng mga iglesia. Also, Pastor Vic Bila of uh, City of San Jose del Monte. So, we pray also for your grace as well. Of course, si busy families. Uh, uh, family, pareho, pa, part pa si Pastor Randy, but of course, uh, yan, krinos out na natin no, for the purpose of, uh, yun nga, pa focusing on uh, on our concerns. So, lalo na ngayon, Sister Josie, kailangan din po ng comfort ng at, ni Ate Jo sa pagkakataong ito. Also, uh, Naomi, Teacher Naomi, Pastor Lem, and Teacher Ami. So, kailangan nila ng mga panalangin natin mga kapatid. Let's support them, the Tupas family. Uh, I know they're still hurting right now uh, because of the loss. No, but I know, uh, ang Panginoon naman ang magpapanumbalik sa kanilang kaaliwan. At, at uh, this is in due time. No? So, let's uh, continue to pray for them, comfort for the family. Though they may not uh, show it uh, to us, no? so alam natin, daman natin yung kalungkutan sa kanila. Lalo na kay Ate Jo, no? kay Teacher Naomi, Pastor Lem, Teacher Ami. So let's pray for them. Of course, every family listed here is very important. All family units, uh, not to mention the names anymore, but uh, these are the families. Uh, Pag-pray natin yan, Pastor Lem will be posting this in due time as well in our CBC Passive Ministries group. Ayan po ang mga pamilya no? so, na pinopost natin. Also our friends, CBC friends. No? So napakahalagang bagay niyan. No? That uh, we could uh, continually pray for 
our friends no so we we appreciate lawagan family no salamat sa inyo ate G and brother Ray for helping us in many ways in our services no so we appreciate uh, the presence of lawagan uh, family as well as some of our friends uh, that are also present uh, during this uh, series of uh, uh, memorial services for Pastor Randy. So we really appreciate your uh, presence and help. Of course, our relatives uh, abroad. Ayan po. So, ayan po yung mga relatives natin. Of course, church uh, concern, no? hindi na po kasama yung Pastor Randy's health dahil siya po'y malusog na sa piling ng Panginoon. Amen. Siya po'y napakalusog na. Ibig sabihin yung healthy, even though his spirit is the one that was with the Lord, but sooner or later, he will receive also his resurrected body as the church will be raptured by the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Again. Okay? So, yan po. Of course, uh, Sheila's health, the new normal, the seminary, Let's pray for this, uh, for them that they will also have diligent on their study, even though this is uh, an online seminary. So, mahirap talaga mag-maintain, lalo na ng, uh, sa online seminary. Church piano obligations, patuloy din po natin ipag yan. And also the post-pandemic outreach, hopefully uh, places will open again so that we could reach out uh, these uh, kids primarily. At yung mga special concerns, no? So, for Sister Gina siblings, the health of Pastor Odi Banyaria, even CBC housekeeper, patuloy po natin though, we understand that the load of uh, routines in the church is not that much compared to the time that uh, Pastor Randy is still around. So, also Pastor Roland Horado, may mga nararamdaman siya. Also, Mrs. Salcedo, we appreciate uh, Mrs. Salcedo's presence. No? Salamat po, Ma'am Salcedo, Ma'am Josie Salcedo sa inyong uh, pagpunta rin. Also, Ma'am Mrs. Galang no? is joining us and other uh, other friends. No? So, salamat sa inyo. Hindi ko man mabanggit ang isa-isa ang inyong mga pangalan. Naging kabahagi kayo ng mga serbisyo, gawain ng church. No? We really appreciate your presence. At sa iba pang mga concerns ng mga sakit, na Brother J.M. Bravo, Sister Ami, and Sister Gina. Of course, for our Lawagan family, patuloy nating panalangin. No? Uh, kumustahin ko si Jeremiah. No? I think nung nakaraang araw ay may sakit ang kanyang chan. Also, Mrs. Lenny Ortiz. So, yan po ang ating uh, mga prayer items. So, yan po. Uh, this is noted, uh, Sister Lynn, those uh, requests. Ayan, labor contractor CBC gardening at CBC. Ayan, yung mga gardening skills na yan. CBC FX man, maintaining of good condition. Ayan po, noted po yan. Okay, uh, ayan. Uh, so, thank you for the lawagan uh, family, particularly brother and sister Gigi who is uh, with us throughout uh, uh, the week. So, salamat po. Okay. Also, oh, uh, Sister Jennifer, I, I think I already mentioned you, uh, the Makati team is watching uh, with us also. Also, CBC Youth, Mati, Mark. Okay, uh, yung mga yan, no? So, let's pray about our youth. No? Uh, tulong natin, no? tulungan nyo ko na pag-pray itong mga to to reach uh, this uh, youth. No? To encourage them. Though, no? though the with the help of the parents, no, it's also important. Yung mga magulang talagang factor. No? So, though, pwede natin ipanalangin ang mga kabataan ito na magpatuloy sa Panginoon. Okay? So, tayo po ngayon ay babasa ng salita ng Panginoon. I would like you to open your Bibles with you in Romans chapter 12. I'll be reading on verse 9 para makita natin ang context. This had been an ongoing series. Since December, ay nakita natin ang uh, mga katungkulang pang-Kristiyano. Una sa lahat sa verse 9, 
ay patungkol sa kanyang sarili and then eventually on verse 10 down to 13, ito naman po ay katungkulan para sa pamilya, particularly on the context of the church because uh, the church is a, is the household of faith. No, this is the, our family in a spiritual sense. Kaya nga dyan yung heading sa aking text is the marks of a true Christian. So, tugman-tugma din po yan because we have our responsibility. No? Yung mga katungkulan natin, yan ang mga tanda natin. Patunay na tayo, tunay na Kristiyano. Okay? So, I'll be reading on verse 9 down to 12. So, that's, but my text is just verse 12. No? Just to set the context of uh, this passage of the scripture. You could read along with your King James Bible. I'll be reading in anbagong ang Biblia. Ang pag-ibig ay maging walang pagkukunwari. Kapuotan ninyo ang masama, panghawakan ang mabuti. Magmahalan kayo na may pag-ibig bilang magkakapatid at pagpaparangal sa iba ay magunahan kayo. Huwag maging tamad sa pagsisikap, maging maalab sa spirito na naglilingkod sa Panginoon. And here's my text. Basically, there are three points. It's obvious on the text. Now, but uh, I hope that we could uh, dig deeper uh, on this uh, passage of the scriptures. Ihanda ko lang yung aking uh, uh, notes for this. Sabi dyan sa verse 12, Magalak kayo sa pag-asa, maging matiisin sa kapighatian, matyaga sa pananalangin. Ulitin ko, magalak kayo sa pag-asa, maging matiisin sa kapighatian, matyaga sa pananalangin. So we thank the Lord for the reading of His Word. At uh, let's pray once again. Lord, we thank You for this day. Thank You for the reading of God's Word, particularly on our responsibility as Christians, that we may uh, realize this responsibility as as mark of genuine faith that we receive from the Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us, Lord, as we look into these uh, practical guidelines, these marks of true Christianity. I pray that we'll be challenged to improve on, on these things, that we may uh, show maturity on these aspects of our Christian life. We thank you, Lord, for the presence of each one. And uh, each family is represented even on this online session. We thank you, Lord. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, so nakikita natin dito as a matter of review. So kasi dinugtong ko na lang yung slide ko dito. So apat na bahag yan, bahagdan yan mga kapatid. From verse 9 to 21, it is, uh, it, it is divided into four major categories. First, our responsibility as Christians to ourselves. So, verse 9 yan. Napag, napag uh, lingkod na po natin yan last December. And then, the next verses from verse 10 to 13 of Romans 12 is about family. It's about the church life. It's about our household of faith pertaining to our spiritual life. No? So, yan yung mga katungkulan na pang Kristiyano na uukol sa ating pamilya. At nabahagi na natin yung unang dalawa, yung verse 10 saka verse 11. Now, we will be Looking into verse 12. Mga kapatid. Ayan. At uh, eventually, sa ating kapwa in general, not necessarily inside the context of a church or a family. But it is something, uh, this may refer to others other than family and church. Okay, that's 14 to 16. And then the last portion our Christian duty or responsibility to our enemies, to those who oppose the faith. So that is on verse 17 to 21. So that's the the division that uh, we may, which is the basis of our study, now, particularly on on these uh, responsibilities or duties of a Christian. No? So yan po. Of course, we already mentioned this. And then, portion of the family. Yan po. Last December 3, we already uh, discussed verse 9. Yan po. Uh, you could always uh, uh, look at the replay no, in our page or even in our seminary uh, or even on our CBC Pasig Ministries group 
or Baptist Ministry Seminary page. Nandiyan po yan. No? Hindi, hindi tayo nagdi-delip. No, this are raw data. We don't even edit it. No? So, ang lalagay lang natin yung time frame. Hindi natin siya binabago. No? So, we could always browse through this. No? Kung uh, hindi po natin napan na nakalimutan na. And then, of course, January 7, we already have the first part. Part uh, referring to the family. Our responsibility or duty to the family is to love one another. How? We should love like brothers. We should have humility. Yan po ang napag-usapan natin. Also, in February 11, last, uh, last Thursday, okay, so, ito po, marami tayong sapol dito. Maging maigting sa pagsisikap, huwag tamad. So, napakahalagang bagay niyan, mga kapatid, na tayo ay hindi dapat maging tamad sa pagsisikap. Ngunit tayo magkaroon ng kaigtingan in our progress of our zeal to the Lord that we should uh, not be uh, sluggard or slothful. No? So, yung ating progress. Ang problema dyan yung progress natin. Minsan, nagiging tamad tayo. Minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, half-heartedness. Yeah. Na-discuss na natin yan last time. And then, maging maalab sa spirito in terms of our mindset, no? in terms of our, our stability, just like a boiling water, there's a need for you to have a stable energy source so that you will have a stable boiling point. Kasi pag bumaba yung energy, hindi nakukulo yan. No? Dapat ma-maintain yung boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. No? And there's an appropriate energy for that to be maintained. And that's supposedly the mindset of a believer that should we should uh, have a controlled mindset in the sense na hindi tayo uh, magkakaroon ng kamalian, no? hindi tayo magiging OA. No? Some are OA on this. No? Yung lalo na yung sa spirit uh, experience. No? yung pag-aalab sa spirito, no, minsan, no. But this could be referred to a controlled mind. No? Just like uh, how you boil water, it should be maintaining 100 degrees Celsius. Maging mapaglingkod sa Panginoon. So, yung application ng pag-iigting sa pagsisikap at hindi tamad, that's your, the actual silusness and the mindset, the right mindset, now will be applied now to our service to the Lord. So, yan po yung last uh, time. But now, now, our our points are quite obvious because it is on the text, mga kapatid. Nasa text po yung outline po natin. Actually, maganda nga yan kasi kahit kayo nakikita niyo yung outline. Eh. Okay? So, una po sa lahat, first point is that magalak kayo. Now, there must be a rejoicing in hope, magalak. Now, may kagalakan sa pag-asa. Now, the mindset, the attitude that we, we have is to anticipate a future event that is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Meaning, the consummation of the ages. No? Our joy should be reflective of the future event that the Lord will initiate in due time on His second coming. So, ganun po yung relation. No? No? It's actually a participle but acting as an imperative. Meaning, it's a command. Ang tawag dyan technically is a participial imperative or an imperatibial participle. Meaning, it's not it's not a direct command but the sense of the being participle, it's a command in itself. No? Ganun po yan sa Greek. No? Meron siyang sense ng command though the form is a participle, not really a verb. No, hindi siya talaga verb, kundi participle. At yan po yung nakikita natin dyan. Ito po ay utos. May kaunawaan ng utos ni Pablo na tayo magkaroon ng kagalakan sa pag-asa, meaning sa pagtanaw sa hinaharap na darating. Ang ating kagalakan ay may palaging antisipasyon or this uh, anticipation of the coming of Christ in the future. That's why our mindset should reflect our ministry now of the anticipation of the Lord. If we are anticipating uh, the Lord in the sense of our rejoicing, yan po dapat yung mindset natin, dapat ito'y makita sa ating gawain, mga kapatid. Ito'y kakitaan tayo ng kasiglahan sa paggawa. 
no? So, yan po yan, no? So, uh, in Romans 5.2, nakita natin sa pamagitan niya nakalapit tayo sa biyayang ito na ating pinaninindigan at nagagalak tayo sa pag-asa ng kalwalhatian ng Diyos. You see, even Paul writing to the Romans anticipating the glory of Christ. Of course, the glory of Christ is not yet, but it will come to pass on the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we see the glory of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So there's this sense of rejoicing now, even though its anticipation is in the future. Nagyan siya mga kapatid, ta, ang kagalakan ay ngayon, kahit na ang pinatutunguhan nito o pinapatungkulan ng kagalakan ito ay hindi pa ngayon, kundi sa hinaharap na patungkol sa uh, Panginoon, sa kanyang pagdating. No? May kagalakan dapat tayo. Dahil ang pag-asang ito, this blessed hope will sure come to pass, mga kapatid. It will come to pass. O, di ba? Nandiyan na naman si Pastor Randy sa preaching natin. It will soon come to pass. Okay? So, yan, no? So, talagang may yung mga, yung anticipations na to. At dapat gawin natin ito ng may kagalakan, mga kapatid. So, yan po ang hamon sa atin. The term hope, Ang terminong pag-asa ay kadalasang gina, ginagamit ng may kaugnayan sa ikalawang pagdating ng Panginoon. Nabasa na natin Romans 5.2. Basahin din natin ang Romans 8.24. Now, if you have your Bible handy with you, in Romans 8.24, sapagkat tayo iniligtas sa pamamagitan ng pag-ibig, or pag-asang ito, rather, sapagkat tayo iniligtas sa pamamagitan ng pag-asang ito, this hope, Ngunit ang pag-asang nakikita ay hindi pag-asa. So hope that is seen is not hope in itself. Sapagat sino nga ang umaasa sa nakikita? So nagkakaroon tayo ng pag-asa o yung anticipation kapag ito ay panghinaharap. Na matutupad sa hinaharap mga kapatid. Kaya yan ay nagiging hope or pag-asa dahil meron tayong anticipation. Sabi nga ng tanong, sapagat sino nga ang umaasa sa nakikita? Wala na. Kasi may kaganapan na, may reality na. This hope will soon come to pass. Okay? Bilangin nyo nga yung pag binabanggit ko ang aplido ni Pastor Randy. No? Hindi ko alam kung si Sterling may counter ka dyan, no And this will, will soon come to pass. Ito ay... Uh, yung anticipation natin, yung pag-asa ay patungkol sa mga bagay na darating. Kapag dumating na yan mga kapatid, hindi na yan pag-asa. Yan ay realisasyon na ng pag-asa mo. Yun ay actual hope, yung actual object of your hope, which is in Christ. Pero ngayon, pag-asa. Okay? So, yun po yan. At ang ating mindset para dyan, at ang uto sa pag-asa na yan, ay dapat magkaroon tayo ng kagalakan. Now, dahil, Alam natin, talastas natin na ito ay matutupad. It will soon come to pass, sooner or later, mga kapatid. Okay? Hindi man natin alam. Okay, uh, we acknowledge sa Sister Sess. So, nasa work pa si Sister Sess. So, uh, I thank you, Sister Sess, for your effort in joining us, though you are still at work. Work mode pa, Sister Sess. So, salamat sa Panginoon sa sa iyong uh, pag-participate sa gabing ito. Okay? So, meron tayong pag-asa, mga kapatid. Huwag tayong manghinawang umasa dahil ang pag-asang ito ay may kapuspusan o may realisasyon sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Kaya nga ang mindset na dapat ay tayo ay magkaroon ng kagalakan. Magala kayo. No? In Romans 5.15.13, puspusinawa kayo ng Diyos ng pag-asa. You see? In fact, as we desire to uh, to have this hope, it's the Lord that supplied the grace so that we will have hope. Based on Romans 5.13. So, hindi, natin, hindi lang tayo nag-iisa dito. Ang Panginoon mismo ang nagsusupply ng, o yung nagpupuspos ng pag-asa sa atin. Sabi dyan sa verse 13, Romans 15, no? Puspusinawa kayo ng pag-asa ng buong kagalakan, you see, the joy, 
at kapayapaan sa pananampalataya upang kayo'y sumagana sa pag-asa. Tayo magkaroon ng pagyabong sa pag-asa sa pamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo. Of course, we could see the triumph God here. The, the blessed hope is the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that supplied grace so that this hope will be abounding in our lives is God the Father. And this will be manifested in our lives, sabi dyan sa last part ng verse 13, upang kayo sumagana sa pag-asa sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan na spirito. So it's the Holy Spirit that implements yung implementation ng kagalakang ito na sumasagana sa atin na buhat sa Ama ay galing sa kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo. Nang object naman ito ay ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. So nakikita natin yung Trinidad sa ating pag-asa mga kapatid. Is Christ our object of our blessed hope? No, he is our focus. Though the one that supplied grace is God the Father, the one that implement is is through the power of the Holy Spirit. So maliwanag diyan. Upang kayo sumagana sa pag-asa sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo in Romans 5:13. Also in 1 Thessalonians 5:8, nakita natin, no? So if you if your Bible is handy with you, sabi sa 1 Thessalonians 5:8, ngunit palibhas ay mga anak, tayo ng araw magpakatinu tayo at isuot natin ang baluti ng pananampalataya at ng pag-ibig at maging helmet ng pag-asa ng kaligtasan. You see? So, eto mga tagubili na ito na may kita natin. No? Yung helmet, maging helmet ay ang pag-asa ng kaligtasan. Hindi yung pag-asa na maliligtas tayo. Mali. Pag-asa is a future tense, meaning there is a future sense of our salvation. May future sense yung salvation natin, that is hope, mga kapatid. Hindi yung hope na maligtas. Huh? So yan yung minsan basa ng mga kulto dito. No? Kasi pag binasa mo sa Tagalog, no? so if I would read, hindi uh, ko pala na, na ano dito sa Bible natin, para makita nyo rin. No? So sabi dyan, Hindi ko pala namove tong Bible ko. Ngunit palibhas ay mga anak tayo ng araw, magpakatinu tayo at isuot natin ang baluti ng pananampalataya at ng pag-ibig at ang maging helmet ay ang pag-asa ng kaligtasan. No? So there is this anticipation of the future of our salvation. Not to be saved in the future, that's a wrong reading for this. No? Sabi dyan, but let us who are of the day, be sober, putting the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. NASB, or ESB, I would say, but since we are belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. So meaning the anticipation of this blessed hope, the future and sense of our salvation, mga kapatid. So nandyan po yan. So we have this rejoicing. It is not the hope of English sense of a wish, no? Kasi minsan yung salitang hope ay ginagawa nating katumbas ng salitang wish. 'Di ba? Madalas 'yan mga kapatid. Ngunit hindi ito ang sense kapag binabasa natin yung salitang hope. Ang hope ay matutupad. Ito ay magkakaroon ng katibayan sa ikalawang pagdating ng Panginoon. 'Yan ang hope na tinatawag, yung wish. There's just a probability of occurrence sooner or later. That's a wish. I wish I could do this. No? So there's a potential but not necessarily uh, to be done in the future. But hope in itself will have its accomplishment in the future. Particularly on the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, mga kapatid. Kaya nga dapat magkaroon tayo ng... Rejoicing, no? patuloy na mindset natin. Brother, kahit malungkot ka, yes. The problem here is not the circumstance, but the attitude on that particular circumstance. Yan po ang mahalaga. How we uh, anticipate or what will be our attitude on this particular circumstance of our life. We should be joyful. Our mindset, mga kapatid. As we anticipate the future 
or the hope of our salvation in a sense the consummation of the age na magkakaroon tayo ng kalubusan sa pagdating ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. So it's not hope in the English sense of a wish but a New Testament sense of a certain event. There will be certainty on this hope. But of course with ambiguous time. Hindi natin alam ang uh, may kalabuan sa tiyak na panahon. Hindi natin talas sa sa panahon. Ngunit nalalaman natin na darating ito sa mga susunod na uh, panahon. Not even on our lifetime but perhaps uh, on the next generation. But the issue here is not uh, is not the exact time that we may perceive it but the fact that it will happen to in the future. Yun po yung mas mahalagang sense niyan. Mangyayari ito sa inaharap. Bagamat hindi natin talastas sa pagkakataong ito mga kapatid. So yan po yan. No? So Romans 4.18, umasa kahit wala ng pag-asa. Umaasa kahit wala ng pag-asa. Siya ay sumasampalataya na siya ay magiging ama ng maraming bansa ayon sa sinabi. Magiging napakarami ng iyong bin- binhi. Particularly the Abrahamic promise, Abrahamic covenant. Though Abraham... doesn't have an idea of what to be a father of many nations, but he received it by faith, and he was justified by his faith. Now, Abraham, he became the father of many nations. Mga kapatid, pinanampalataya niya isang bagay na kapos sa kanyang kaisipan, so, paano ba ako magiging ama? Wala nga akong anak. Paano, mga, paano ako magiging ama ng mga bansa? Wala nga akong isang anak. Di ba? <laughs> Kaya nga yung asawa niya natatawa. No? Paano ka magiging ama ng maraming bansa? Eh, wala ka nga kahit isang anak. You see? Ngunit pinagkatiwalaan ni Abraham ang pangakong ito mga kapatid. No? Umasa siya sa pag-asa. No? Ayan po yung sinasabi ng Romans 4.18. No? Sa buhay ni Abraham. Abraham, umasa kahit wala ng pag-asa. You see? Siya ay sumampalataya na siya ay magiging ama ng maraming bansa. No, dahil ito'y sinabi sa kanya ng Panginoon. <coughs> Excuse me po. Okay? So, yan po yan mga kapatid. No? Because his mindset, the mindset should be rejoicing in hope. Yan po yan. Also in Romans 5.2, nabasa na natin to. Sa pamagitan uh, niya, nakalapit tayo sa biyayang, dito, lagay ko nga. Hindi ko na habol because I have my notes. So, Romans 5.2. Okay. I'll be switching on ang bagong Biblia. Sa pamagitan niya yung nakalapit tayo sa biyayang ito na ating pinanindigan. At nagagalak tayo sa pag-asa ng kaluwalatian ng Diyos. You see, anticipating the glory of Christ. The glory of God in the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, our mindset, our challenge today is how is your mindset of rejoicing in that hope to come? No, tayo ba ay nagagalak? O meron, o apektado tayo ng mga circumstansya o pangyayari sa ating buhay na wala ng kagalakan natin. Nagkaroon, nawalan tayo ng focus dun sa future hope na yun. So, dapat mga kapatid, hindi tayo mawala ng pag-asa sa future hope. Dahil ito ay certain, matutupad ito in due time, mga kapatid. No? So, yan po yan. No? So, I need to move to the next point. Mga kapatid, marami pa akong gustong sabihin dito. Okay? So, the point is that we must rejoice. Magalak kayo sa pag-asa. No? As we rejoice, we have this mindset of rejoicing, focusing on the future hope, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Nakapokus tayo dyan. Yan yung pag-asa natin eh, in the future sense of, of our salvation, which is glorification. Okay? So, napakalagang uh, katungkulan ito ng isang kristyano, mga kapatid, na dapat kakitaan tayo ng kagalakan sa ating uh, uh, personal na buhay, no? kagalakan sa paglilingkod. Kahit na kung ikaw ay mga ngaral o isang guro, no? may kagalakan tayo sa paghahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Napakalagang bagay niya, no? Na ito ay tungkulin natin sa ating mga kasambayat, bahay, lalo na sa iglesia. No? So, it's our responsibility 
we must magnify this joyful attitude, mga kapatid. Nakakahawa kasi yung joy na yan, eh. No? Kung sama-sama tayo, we we'll have this mindset, joyful mindset. Then, of course, um, pangalawa dito, maging mati matiisin sa kapighatian. We should persevere, no? It means active, voluntary, steadfast endurance. No, yung matiisin or persevering. No, ito rin ay sa kaunawaan ng utos. No? Yung pagiging matiisi natin. Ito ay aktibo. No, tahas. Meaning meron tayong uh, forward attitude on on perseverance, no? If there are persevering situation in our life, we should face it. We should be active on it. Hindi dapat natin uurungan yan, mga kapatid. No, do sabi ko nga sa mga ilang mga preaching ko, do hindi tayo mga sugod mga kapatid mindset. No, as far as perseverance concern. If we will be based on a perseverance, test of perseverance, then we should face it. Dapat harapin natin ito. Lalo na yung mga yugto ng ating pagtitiis, mga kapatid. No? It means active, voluntary, kusa. Steadfast, nananatili, endurance, yung katatagan natin, mga kapatid. Nasubok din ang katatagan natin. In tribulation. Actually, parallel to eh. Magalak kayo sa pag-asa, maging matiisin sa kapighatian. Parehong may future sense yan, no? Yung mindset ng hope, tumitingin tayo sa... O yung mindset ng joyfulness, tumitingin tayo sa hope. However, we should persevere on suffering or tribulation, mga kapatid. So, parehong may future sense yan. Pinapakita ni Pablo at ang iba't ibang muka ng, ng panghinaharap na pangyayari sa buhay kristyano. Tumitingin tayo sa Diyos, sa Panginoon sa Kristo, bilang ating pag-asa. Bagamat nandito pa tayo sa lupa, sa panghinaharap, mayroon din tayong kapighatian. At tayo ay tinuturuan na magtiis. No? Hope is linked in tribulation. No? This is a form the norm for followers of Christ in the fallen world. Mga kapatid, no? so dapat magkaroon tayo ng mindset na talagang kakasadlak tayo sa mga pighating ito. Dapat may mindset. No? Parallel kasi yun eh, joy in hope, then we, sh we should uh, uh, persevere in tribulation. No? Kasi parehong may future event yan eh. In the future, we will be tried. Our faith will be tried. No? Tayo ay... Uh, so subukan no in terms of this suffering in terms of this uh, uh, temptation no so yung mga bagay na yan mga kapatid patient or long suffering or persevering in tribulation mga kapatid so yan po yung sa adon sa King James natin so pabasa lang ako ng ilang talata sa Matthew chapter 5 verse 10 to 12 nakikita po natin ang patungkol dito Mapapalad ang mga inuusig dahil sa katwiran sapagkat kanila ang kaharian ng langit. Mapapalad kayo kapag kayo nilalait, inuusig at pinagsasabihan ng sari-saring kasamaan na pawang kasinungalingan dahil sa akin. Magalak kayo at magsaya sapagkat malaki ang gantimpala ninyo sa langit sapagkat gayon, gayon din nila inusig ang mga propeta na nauna sa inyo. No, so this is an encouragement no, for a kingdom life. No, we should uh, we are blessed if we are suffering persecution because even the prophets prior to us have suffered the same. Mga kapatid, ang mindset natin magalak at magsaya. So nandun pa rin yung parallel niya, no? Doon sa ating uh, pagiging matiisin, may kagalakan. No? Bagamat tumitingin tayo sa pag-asa, may kapighatian tayong dadanasin, mga kapatid. So, may parallel tong dalawang ito eh. Hindi lang basta sinadya ni Pablo na iduktong ang paggagalak sa pag-asa dahil ito'y nauugnay din sa ating pagtitiis sa kapaghatian ng isang buhay kristyano. Yan po dapat ang makita natin mga kapatid. No? We, have, we should have this uh, mindset. A joyful mindset though there are anticipations of suffering, anticipation of test for perseverance, no? or patience perhaps no as we uh, face this tribulation
yung mga pag-uusig o kapighatian sa ating buhay. Okay? So, yan po yan. Uh, maraming talata dito eh. John 17.14, babanggit lang ako. Hindi ko na mapakita dito lahat. No? Dahil sa konti yung ating ano eh. No? John, John 17.14, ibinigay ko sa kanila ang inyong salita at tapuot sa kanila ang sanlibutan. Sapagkat hindi sila taga sanlibutan, gaya ko na hindi taga sanlibutan. No, yung kapuotan, napupuot sa atin. Kapag, kapag yung salita ay binibigay sa kanila na nasa sanlibutan dahil hindi sila taga sanlibutan gaya ko na hindi taga sanlibutan so sorry dali lang mga pati medyo na puwing ako din yeah medyo pagkapuwing anyway sige sige tuloy lang tayo okay next uh Acts 14.22 Okay? Na pina, pinapalakas ang mga kaluluwa ng alagad at pinapatatag ang loob nila na natili sa pananampalataya at sinasabi na sa pamagitan ng maraming mga kapighatian ay kailangan pumasok tayo sa kaharian ng Diyos. You see? So, Susuong talaga tayo mga kapatid. Huwag natin iwasan ang suffering. No? Kailangan lang tayo maging matiisin. Be patient in uh, tribulation or suffering mga kapatid. So inaasahan po yan sa bawat kristyano. In parallel to a rejoicing to the blessed hope to come. While we are rejoicing to the blessed hope to come, we are anticipating the test of our patience, the test of perseverance, in the midst of tribulation, mga kapatid. So, pangatlo, the last point that we have, tayo magkaroon ng pagtsatsaga sa panalangin. Napakahalaga nito. Paano natin may sasakatuparan ng kagalakan sa pag-asan darating at ang pagiging matiisin sa kapighatian? Si Pablo ay nagdigay sa atin ng karampatang Uh, ka kautusan, kaugnay sa, sa dalawang na unang bagay na ito upang tayo ay magkaroon ng kagalakan sa pag-asa, magkaroon tayo ng patience o pagiging uh, pagtitiis, matiisin sa kapighatian kung tayo ay matyaga sa panalangin, mga kapatid. Napakagandang instruction kay Pablo. Na hindi tayo, hindi natapos yung praise doon sa unang dalawa. <laughs> Definitely karambola. Ano kaya yung prescription ni Pablo dito? Ito, yung prescription ni Pablo. Matyaga sa panalangin, mga kapatid. Paano ka magkakaroon ng kagalakan sa pag-asa? Our prayer life. It's very important. We should devote our ourselves to prayer so that we may see that hope to come. No, kasi yung kagalakan niyan, hindi lang yan yung well, hindi dapat yan ay inaasam eh. Araw-araw sa ating buhay, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, aktibong pag-asam ng pag-asang ito. At yan ay kakibat ng buhay panalangin natin mga kapatid. Kaya nga inuutos ito ni Pablo. No? Inuutos ni Pablo na tayo magkaroon ng uh, pagtsatsaga sa panalangin. Napakagandang uh, pagtatapos ng praise na ito mga kapatid. It's, prayer is a spiritual discipline. Minsan dito tayo nagkakaproblema mga kapatid. We lack discipline in prayer. So that, ang epekto nito sa atin, wala kang joy. Wala kang joy mga kapatid. Wala kang kagalakan sa pag-asan darating kasi may problema ka. You're not disciplined your prayer. At the same time, hindi tayo nagiging matiisin sa tribulation or suffering. Dahil wala kang prayer mga kapatid. Napaka importante nito yung panalangin Kahit naman sa anong bagay, no? even in other spiritual disciplines, it should always start in the discipline of prayer. Prayer is a spiritual discipline in a gift that recognizes God's active hand in the history. Ito ay kapwa, disiplina at kaloob sa atin. Dahil Panginoon nagagawad ng ating mga panalangin, mga kapatid, kahit na sa pagkakataong ito na tayo mananalangin, 
ang Panginoon ang magagawad nito no, sa bawat isa. Okay? So, yan po yan. No? Prayer is spiritual discipline and give that recognize God's hand in history. Sa panalang ito, kinikilala natin ang Diyos, ang kamay ng Diyos sa kasaysayan. Siya ang napang, nakapangyayari sa kasaysayan. He's in control of everything. No? Walang nakakalusot sa kamay ng Diyos, mga kapatid. Hindi napapahintulutan ang mga pangyari kung ito ay hindi kapahintulutan ng Diyos. Maging ito man ay sakuna, maging ito man ay mga masasamang balita, maging ito man ay kung ano-anong mga pangyayari, hindi ito magkakaroon ng katuparan kung ito ay hindi ipahihintulot ng Diyos. Dahil alam ng Diyos ang kanyang layunin sa lahat ng bagay nito. Bagamat sa sa level ng tao, sa ating isip, ay hindi minsan natin maarok ang layunin ng mga bagay na ito. No? Lalo na na nagdudulot ng sakit sa atin, ng mga karamdaman, lalo na sa pandemyang ito, o kahit pang kamatayan, minsan. No? Uh, as for us, ay alam ko na hindi hindi mabigat sa kalooban ng countryside ang kamatayan ng Panginoon. Dahil inihanda na ng Diyos. Inihanda tayo ng Diyos sa pagkakataong ito mga kapatid. Na pinakita ng Diyos ang biyaya niya kay Pastor Randy. Nakita natin yan sa bawat linggong kapiling natin si Pastor Randy hanggat siya binawian na ng buhay. At tayo inihanda dyan. No? Perhaps kung tayo patuloy na nananalangin sa ating mahala pastor lalo na nung siya buhay pa ay nakita natin ang pananaw natin sa gawain na inabago ng yung pananaw natin na bago at ito ay patungo sa, ka, sa kalooban ng Diyos. No? Kaya ngayon nabanggit ko sa inyo dati doon, dati pinagpipray ko talaga literally na gumaling si pastor, kapalakas si pastor, lagi ito mga kapatid. Okay. So yan po Panginoon. And then eventually, para na iba yung panalangin ko, Lord, nawa ang inyong kalooban ng matupad kay Pastor Randy. No? Nabago yung mindset natin, guys. No? Hinulma tayo ng Panginoon para mat- mas matanggap natin ang kamatayan ng ating mahal na Pastor Randy. No? Dahil ang panalangin, dapat tayo magkaroon ng pagsisikap, pagtsatsaga. Sa panalangin, we should have a devotion in our prayers as we recognize God's hand in history, mga kapatid. No? So, yan po yan. Believers can affect a loving Heavenly Father. We could always appeal in prayer. And by God's mercy and grace, no? by God's mercy and grace, no? that He will He will hear our uh, our cry. Na, so yan po yan mga kapatid. No, so yung unang dalawa, yung unang dalawa ay naapektuhan ng pangatlo, yung pagtiyaga natin sa panalangin ay naapektuhan niya ng pagiging ka, ang kagalakan natin sa pag-asan darating at ang pagiging matiisi natin sa kapaghatian na paghahandaan natin itong dalawang ito kapag tayo may pagtiyaga sa panalangin. Tama po yung Pastor Lem, for those who suffer with Christ will be glorified with Him. Kaya yung isang importanteng sangkap ng buhay kristyano ay suffering. Kasi nagdusa ang Panginoon. Eh. Bago siya ng luwalhati, siya muna ay nagdusa sa cross. At ganun din dapat ang kasadlakan ng kristyano. We suffer with Christ and then we glorify with Christ. So napakalagang uh, punto yan, Pastor Lam. So thank you for that uh, point. Pointing to us that reality. So believers can affect a loving Heavenly Father. God has chosen to limit Himself to the prayers of His children. Sometimes, no, yung lalo na dito sa Acts 1.14, sama-samang itinalaga, uh, iba-iba kasing window natin. Pakita ko dito, Acts 1.14, sama-samang itinalaga ng, ng lahat ng mga ito ang kanilang sarili para sa panalangin. Kasama ang mga babae at si Maria na inanang ni Jesus at kanyang mga kapatid. 
So yung pananabuhay, pananalangin, no? kahit na sa unang iglesia, 2.42 of Acts, manatili sila sa turo ng mga apostol at sa, sa pagsama-sama at pagpuputol-putol ng tinapay at sa mga panalangin. So nakita natin yung mga panalangin dito, no? Ephesians, uh, Colossians 4.2. Ano sabi dito? Magpatuloy kayo sa panalangin at kayo'y magbantay na may pasasalamat. You see? Thanksgiving. No, pero ang bottom line talaga nito mga kapatid, itong praise na ito, lalo na itong kulin natin sa ating pamilya as a household of faith pertaining to this uh, uh, praise would boil down to our prayer life mga kapatid. So this makes prayer an awesome responsibility. It's a responsibility. It's not just the blessing to pray, but for every Christian, it's a responsibility to pray, to communicate to God regularly. No? So dapat yan ang maging mindset natin. Hindi option ang prayer, mga kapatid. Prayer is not an option. It's an obligation. It's a duty for each one of us. Kaya nga yung title natin, Tungkulin sa Pamilya. Tungkulin natin sa household of faith ang pananalangin, mga kapatid. Kaya nga tayo sa CBC ay nagkakaroon ng prayer gathering and Bible study. This is our commitment to prayer. But of course, we have our personal commitment. And we, we need to be disciplined on that as well sa ating mga panalangin. So yan po mga kapatid. No? So I have, I have many things to say. Also in Ephesians uh, 6.18. Manalangin kayo sa spirito sa lahat ng panahon, sa bawat panalangin at pagsamo, at sa bagay na ito ay maging handa na may buong pagtsatsaga. You see? So kakibat ang pagtsatsaga at pagsusumamo para sa lahat ng mga banal. Idalangin din ninyo ako upang ako'y pagkalooban ng pananalita sa pagbubukas ng aking bibig upang ipahayag na may katapatan ang hiwagan ng Ebanghelyo. I think this is a right uh, prayerful mindset, no? that we could uh, address to our beloved Pastor Lem. No? So, yung panalangin na sa pagbukas ng, though this is apostolic, no, I would say the principles will be uh, universal on praying for leaders as they preach the word, no, that uh, this will become effectual to the listener, to the audience, and that would result to conversion of believers. No? So, yan yung mga, at Kaya nga po, idalangin ninyong pagkalooban ng pananalta sa pagbubukas ng aking bibig upang ipahayag na may katapatan ang ihwaga ng ibang hiyan. Para maiproklama ang hiwaga ng Diyos. The gospel message to those who are lost. So the question now, ladies and gentlemen, is how you gauge your prayer life. Gano ka ba katsagang manalangin, mga kapatid? Yes, you may have joy in hope. Parang madaling gawin yan. You just focus on the hope. You have a joyful attitude. Or perhaps, you are you are actually uh, patient in tribulation. You have this patience. Subok mo na yung patience mo. Pero ang question ko sa inyo mga kapatid, how long? How long you will be consistent on joy for that blessed hope to come? How long will you have... Uh, uh, this patience in terms of your suffering and tribulation, how long? How long? And the answer would be, how long are you praying? How long are you devoting yourself to prayer? That would answer, how long will you have joy in hope? And how long will you have patience in tribulation? That would determine, that is determined by how long or how patience or how devoted your prayer life is, mga kapatid. Yan po ang dapat nating saliksikin ngayon. Alang-alang sa ating tungkulin sa ating pamilya, particularly on the household of faith. So tayo po yung maging seryoso dito, mga kapatid. No? So, we cannot really have this uh, real joy anticipating the blessed hope. We cannot really have this patience in our suffering and tribulation if we don't have this devotion 
to prayer. So, all boils down to this third component. Though the first two part is important in anticipation of the future, however, the baseline, the baseline of these two is our prayer life, mga kapatid. That's how I look at the verse. And I hope and pray that you have seen the verse as well. An encouragement for our prayer life. Let's look at our prayer life and how we reflect our mindset of joy to anticipate the coming of Christ. Now, that's something to have a relation, our prayer life, and anticipation of the future. How about our devotion in prayer in relation to our patience in suffering? Alam mo ba, I would say na kung wala kang prayer life, di ka magiging impatient ka mga kapatid eh. Very simple eh. Very, very simple. Kung wala kang prayer life, wala kang joy sa hope pang na darating, wala kang magka, hindi ka magkakaroon ng kagalakan sa pag-asa kung wala kang prayer life, mga kapatid. Kaya napakahalagang pananagutan niya ng bawat kristyano itong mga bagay na ito. Okay? So, yan po ang hamon natin na wa ay uh, tumimo sa ating mga puso at isipan ang tatlong katagang ito. Magalak kayo sa pag-asa. Maging matiisin sa kapighatian. These are two mindsets in the future to come in our life. However, the baseline is our devotion in prayer. Matyaga sa panalangin. Okay? Let's have a closing prayer. Then I would uh, uh, pray for all of these uh, prayer items. Okay, let's just uh, close for this message. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this single verse, Romans 12.12. 12. That is uh, actually a duty for every Christian that we should rejoice in hope that we should be patient in tribulation, but most importantly, that we should have this devotion in our prayer, that we have this consistency in our prayer life, that we should have discipline in our prayer life. I pray, Lord, that you will bestow your blessing to us. Help us, Lord, to know you more. Help us, Lord, uh, to have this discipline in our prayer, in communion with you. As we continue on our prayers this evening, May your guidance and mercy be upon us. Bless your people, Lord, with this message, this challenge that have been imparted to each one of us. In Christ we pray. Amen. Okay? Let's look for other, for some of other requests. So I think uh, there are a few uh, messages uh, here. Okay, no? So, kung di ko man magbagit mga kapatid, ay uh, at least we have read already, na lalo na yung mga prayer request ni Sister Lynn, no? kanina, ay nabanggit naman po, ay, ay no, nabanggit natin, yung, uh, katulad ng uh, start ng class ni Matt, Sunlight Friday Group, Bible Study, uh, yung patungkol sa construction ng CBC Building, Gardening, Apex uh, maintenance and also for Thanksgiving for uh, Dalawagan family. I've been cooperating. Uh, thank you for your time as well. Okay? Sige. So, tulungan nyo kung mapanalangin yung nabanggit natin kanina bagamat nais kong isa-isahin ito no, kung may pagkakataon. Okay? So, ganun pa man. Kung meron pa mga karagdagan, you could always uh, uh, chat with Pastor Lem no? uh, or perhaps you may use the group chat of CBC active members no, for, or even the CBC Sunday School group uh, group chat for your prayer request or you could uh, directly go to Pastor Lem and Teacher Ami no, sila po yung mga uh, maaari natin pagsabihan ng mga bagay na ito lalo na sa kahilingan and then also, the group chat would be a good venue for your prayer request. Okay, so tayo po mu uli ay manalangin. I would be praying for this listing. Oh, help me also in praying. Father in heaven, we thank you once again for this time that you have uh, given to us. We pray, uh, Lord, continually as we face this pandemic, that you will continually grant uh, uh, healthy bodies, uh, 
uh, to us even the safety of everyone lord as we uh, go out as we interact with other people that we may know we may not know and that we will not we will be stronger and we will be healthy no, even in this pandemic lord na kami mai maiiwa sa mga kasakitang ito at patuloy ng aming katawan ay mag maging uh, buhay na hain sa inyo at uh, ito ay karapat dapat sa paglilingkod sa inyo Panginoon. Dinadalangin ko rin ang karunungan ng bawat uh, lokal at nasyonal na pamahalaan sa pagpapatupad ng kanilang mga polisiya patungkol sa uh, pandemya Panginoon. Ngayon din naman ay pinapaabot ko ang panalangin ng uh, ng proteksyon at pagkalinga ninyo sa bawat pamilya as you provide blessing uh, to uh, more special the fathers and mothers or guardians of the home in their livelihood in their employment even in their business opportunities Lord may you continually bless our families so that uh, uh, they may be also a blessing to others as well as you bless this family. We're also praying for our attendance, most special the physical attendance for our church gathering. I pray, Lord, for your uh, that uh, pe the people will be motivated to to gather physically and, and that they may recognize that this is your will, Lord, that we may gather in this passion, this congregational passion of worship. Also praying for the flattening of the curb. I pray, Lord, for your mercy and grace to us, that we need your mercy more than the vaccine, Panginoon. I pray for your, for the spiritual growth of the, each of the brethren. Help us, Lord, to know you more through the preaching of God's word as we hear expositionally the word of God, as we hear systematic study in our Sunday school. Our Bible study, I pray, Lord, that this will contribute to our growth as believers in Christ. I also praying for the ladies group, committed women for Christ, that you will be uh, blessing them, even their plans for this year. I pray for the church volunteers, lalo na ang mga, uh, mga gawain sa church. Dalangin ko ang patuloy niyong uh, pagabay uh, sa mga volunteers and staff. Also for the building repairs, no, there are uh, pending repairs, proposed uh, improvements, no, even our comfort room. I pray for wisdom and grace and for the right skilled worker that will uh, 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 help us in reconstructing or constructing this project. Also praying for the Tyson offering that your people may continue to support uh, the, the vision of the church, the cause of the gospel through Country Baptist Church. I pray also for the bills that needs to be paid in due time. I pray for your mercy and grace as well. Also for our Sunday school, continually guide us, Lord, for adult as we continue on our study of education. We're now on part five out of six parts of education. I pray, Lord, for your grace as well, that we become wise in educating our own children, even as we are uh, educated biblically by our own uh, local church, country Baptist Church. Uh, I pray also for the kids Sunday school led by teacher Amy. Continually be gracious to them that uh, the gospel will be will reach also these children. I pray also for our building project with Christ we build. This is a continuing project, Lord. I pray for your uh, guidance. I pray for your wisdom in our decision so that uh, this project will prosper, Lord. Also, I'm praying for the online Bible studies led by Pastor Lem. Uh, I pray for mercy and grace to these Bible studies, that this will contribute to their growth, and that uh, they will be encouraged also in due time, uh, these uh, Bible studies, in due time, that we will, uh, they will be joining also the physical gatherings of our church as well. I pray for the missionaries. Uh, that these are the listings here, Lord. Uh, I know your the specific situation. You know the specific situation of these uh, missionaries. I pray that you will grant mercy and grace to them as they continue on their some 
continue on their dep deputation. Some are already on the foreign field. I pray for your mercy and grace to this uh, man of God. For the families, continue a uh, prayer of comfort to the Tupas family. For Pastor Lem and Teacher Ami, Ati Josie, and Teacher Naomi, I pray for your mercy and grace, for your comforting grace uh, to them as they continue to miss, to long for the present or to miss the presence of our beloved Pastor Randy, though we know that uh, Pastor Randy is with the Lord, uh, uh, in, with the Lord now at this present stage. But I pray for your comfort, comforting mercy continually to the Tupas family and also for the CBC, for the entire uh, country Baptist Church family, Lord. I pray also for each of the families listed here, these families and friends who had been part of our ministry. I pray, Lord, for your mercy and grace uh, to this family, Lord, na sila ay magpatuloy sa kalang sigasig, patuloy sa paglilingkod sa inyo, Panginoon. Kahit na sa kabila ng pandemya, sa mga kahirapan uh, ng paglilingkod, Lord, ay nawa, ay kakitaan kami ng katapatan. Mga pamilyang ito na inyong pinili, inilagak sa Countryside Baptist Church, kayo ang patuloy na magawad ng biyaya sa kanila. We're also praying for our, our friends abroad, Lord. These are the listings of brothers and sisters in Christ. Continually guide them. We have also our special concern on Sister Sheila's health. On the new normal, even the seminary, Lord, I pray for your new new students to come, that they this will be a blessing to them as well. Also, our piano obligation and the opening of our post-pandemic outreach, that uh, homes will be open, places will be open, barangay will be open for your will, Lord, and for your glory uh, through this uh, teaching ministry of the church, particularly this extension program. Oh Lord. We're also praying for uh, Gina's sibling, uh, Pastor Odi Banyaria, CBC housekeeper, and these brothers and sisters uh, listed here, particularly on their health uh, requests. I pray, Lord, that you will grant this request. I pray, Lord, for the answered prayer of Sister Gina, for his therapy, that you may continually uh, uh, be with her, Lord, on, on the the other medications that he may have but uh, we pray and we thank you lord for the good results previous results or news that we have heard from uh, uh, sister gina i pray also for these brothers sisters in christ who are suffering in their sickness lord i pray for your healing mercies and grace to them that in your presence as well to them we thank you lord for the past five or six days that we have been ongoing uh a memorial service for our beloved Pastor Randy. Uh, you have given us endurance, patience, grace. Even, even as we uh, continue to fellowship with one another in the church as well as other brothers and sisters from other local churches, Lord, we thank you for give, giving us this grace, this endurance, that we could continue to serve you even in these uh, five or six consecutive days. Uh, that we, we, we may need to go out of our regular schedule and focus ourselves in serving uh, the church, in serving our, our visitors, in serving our loved ones and friends who are joining us on, the, on these memorial services, Lord. And we thank you because uh, you have provided us a good internment uh, this afternoon, though there, there may be some uh, uh, delays, but uh, these delays are... are are providential we, this actually happened for a purpose lord and we thank you that uh, because in spite of these delays uh, you have been gracious to us lord we have seen your hands uh, your the, the working of your hands in providence in the lives of in the life of our beloved pastor randy even on on his point of dying and his death lord that we have seen your hand your working hand in your church. We thank you, Lord, for this. May you continually bless the families and friends of CBC as we continue, as we start a new chapter in our ministerial life, particularly for Pastor Lem, leading us, shepherding his flock with your word, that he may be continually be faithful to this commitment and that each one of us, Lord, will become a support. 
to our beloved pastor that you may continually give us uh, this helping hand to our beloved minister whom you called uh, to become an overseer in your church. May you bless the family, Lord, the Tupas family, particularly uh, Ate Jo. Uh, Lord, dalangin kong yung comfort sa kanya. Patuloy siyang kalingain ninyo, Panginoon, lalo na sa pagkakataong ito na, na hindi niya nakapiling si Pastor Tupas. Dalangin ko rin si Teacher Naomi, patuloy niyong biyaya sa kanya, Teacher Ami and Pastor Lem sa patuloy niyong pagmiministeryo sa kanila, Panginoon. Sila inyong pagkalooban ng biyaya at uh, patuloy na ang bawat isa ay maglumag, lumago sa biyaya at katotohanan na nasa Panginoong Sokristo. Salamat po sa gabing ito, sa yugto ng aming pananalangin at yugto ng aming pag-aaral ng iyong salita. Nawa kayo ang naluwalhati, Panginoon, sa aming kalagitnaan sa, uma sa gabing ito. Bagamat may mga request, Panginoon, na hindi ko na nabasa, uh, alam ko po na talastas ninyo ang aming mga puso at isipan. Na patuloy niyo pong masaliksik ito sa pamagitan ng inyong spiritong banal na nanahan sa bawat isa. Muli, Panginoon, pinapasalamatan po namin kayo at pinapapurihan sa gabing ito. Itong aming samod na langin sa matamis na pangalan ng inyong bugtong na anak, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Okay. Salamat po sa Panginoon. Okay, uh, we also praise the Lord for the obligations completed according to Pastor Lem. So it's a blessing that uh, we may start anew, start fresh. Uh, this chapter of our ministerial life. Okay? Salamat sa Panginoon sa gabing ito at uh, tayo nagkasama-sama. Uh, next Thursday is uh, is Pastor Lem uh, introducing the book of Habakkuk. I'm excited on this book. Hopefully, you're excited too because uh, it's seldom that we may have a series on the Old Testament scriptures. So, samantalahin nyo po Mga kapatid, ang pagkakataong ito na tayo magkaroon ng pag-aaral sa mga aklat ng lumang tipan. At alam ko na marami tayong pagkatuto na makikita no, sa mga aklat na ito. Okay, so, so it's Pastor Lem that will continue. We'll start this new book of Habakkuk in the next uh, prayer gathering that we'll have. Okay, so mga kapatid, kita-kita tayong muli sa, sa linggo. We'll have our services. Uh, regular services in the morning and our Sunday school prior to that. Then we will we will uh, uh, have our afternoon Bible study. Tuloy na po because uh, with the limitations of time and schedules that we have on the previous two or three weeks, ay hindi po tayo nagkaroon ng Bible study. But we will resume our afternoon Bible study uh, this uh, Sunday no, as we continue on the topic of expository preaching. And then of course, afternoon service will be uh, will be followed as well. Okay? So, we thank the Lord for this. No? So, uh, tayo po ay magpaalam na sa bawat isa. Marami po salamat. Okay? Sayang, wala akong clapping device. Papalakpakan ko sana kayo, mga kapatid. Eh. Okay? Pero ganun pa man, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa presensya ng bawat isa. Your online presence means a lot to us as we serve you, as we glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So, God bless everyone. See you this Sunday. Bye-bye!